Hi and welcome to my channel. I'm uh, Tagald. These are my orchids in bloom at the moment. Two of these are reblooms and one is new. And it is the new one that almost forced me to do this video right now because it's fading. I have a trouble keeping the flowers on my plants. They dry out and uh, fall off very um, too early. So I f fell for this, uh, it's a Dendrobium phalaenopsis hybrid and it, I fell for it because of the very dark flowers. They are um, a bit darker than um, what shows on the, the camera. I have one uh, that I bought previously but uh, that one is very light colored. It was the first one. I saw for sale so I had to have it but uh, I like this one better so maybe I give I'll give away the first one um, this is also a bit different from the other dendrobium phalaenopsis I have and say hello to my uh, uh, my cat as you see because it's different from the other one the other one has more rounded leaves and these have a fine line of um, maroon or uh, it's a dark edging to these leaves and I like that because I still don't trust my ability to get uh, plants to flower so I uh, prefer uh, plants with a nice uh, with nice foliage as well as flowers uh, but I really like this dark, these dark flowers they're almost black and velvety I just wish I could <laughs> stop them from dropping I suspect it's because of my the dry air here in my flats in winter and I do have a humidifier but that is tucked away into my um, plant cage as I call it. But the plants that I want to look at every day they don't get that much humidity and that might be a problem for the buds and it's really frustrating and uh, yes this plant did come with a five week flower gu guarantee but I don't bother with that because uh, it's not the fault of the plant or the producer uh, it's my environment guaranteed it's frustrating with new plants because you still don't know exactly how they like to be watered and so on and still you want the flowers to hang on and stay there for some time so I always hope uh, the rebloom when I get the hang of reblooming them, the the flowers will stay long, longer. But the first one I rebloomed was this one, and it lasted as a Paphiopedilum modial type femma. It lasted a few weeks, and it's supposed to last well over a month, I think. The problem's the same. I but this one is now blooming for it's the third time in less than a year it's in bloom I bought it in bloom in March and yeah I'm very uh, pleasantly surprised I must say uh, as the first one I got to rebloom of my orchids or any plant maybe at least my orchids and um, as you can see the foliage on this one is also really nice I want to convert most of my plants to uh, passive hydroponics semi hydroponics but I didn't catch this in time because I was about to repot it uh, and convert it when I discovered the bud 
So <laughs> I just have to wait. Um, with my luck, uh, it won't be long before this bloom is fading too. But I think it's cool. I like one darker, uh, more purplish or red. I've seen those and I love them. As you can see, it looks like it's stretching a little for light. And the nubs here where roots would be coming out are not far from touching the substrate. And I'm not sure how I, uh, I'll go about reporting this, uh, how high I should have the substrate. I know it should have gotten more light in the growing phase. I need to report this before I see a bud but down there. No bud so far. <laughs> uh, I really hope I, I catch it in time so I can, yeah, so I can convert it or report it. But uh, I need to figure out how high the substrate should be and. Should I bury the leaves? I don't think so. But still, these nubs should have access to substrate, so I'm not sure. Uh, it's still impressive to uh, that it's re it blooming for the third time in less than a year. Uh, so I'm happy with that. The third one is also a re-bloom, actually. My first Phalaenopsis re-bloom. Um, it's uh, it was a rescue from, from IKEA and probably had uh, spider mites. Uh, that was last winter, I think. And now it's blooming. I stressed it out with too much grow light, so it's not. It's had a hard time deciding whether to make a cakey or uh, flowers. I think it landed on flowers, but there are there's. That one is a root, and that is a root. And there's some leaves, there's one, and there's another one. It's a really big flower, I think. So I'm happy with this rescue. I've had bad luck with Phalaenopsis earlier because I tend to rot them. This one I left neglected over the summer, and it's recently been repotted. I left the old flower spikes. Uh, just cut them for more manageable heights. So some people say that uh, when you do that, the flowerings don't get as impressive as they would on a new spike. But as you can see, this this orchid it's not growing a new leaf. Um, it's looking really in a bad shape actually, but it's healthy now. Uh, it wasn't, but it's now. Uh, it's not very nice to look at, I think. Uh, so I absolutely welcome uh, the keki if it develops. Uh, and then I'll probably throw away the old the mother plant. But we are, I hope we have some more uh, flowers. Here's the other flower spike. And there's um, more buds on this one. There's one that's soon to flower and then there's some up here. So I kind of like that uh, lip. It reminds me of a moustache or something. Uh, and I like the big flower. Um, and it's a milestone for me to rebloom a uh, phalaenopsis. These were my orchids in bloom. I had to do this video now before these flowers fade. Thanks for watching. I appreciate any comments. Until next time. Bye.